I'm in the middle of lacing up and I thought I would do a video. I haven't did one yet this week. This is like the middle of week 11. And so I'm wearing um, a different top and so I don't want to have anything up here. And so um, what I basically did is I have this, this uh, tube top bra on and um, what I did is I basically cut one of my wife beaters. Now um, I wore the hell out of wife beaters when I first started my YouTube channel so I have tons of them. All right, so all I did is I cut the, the bottom part of it off just to slip underneath. Now, technically, I could have used something like a tube top uh, blouse like this, you know, but I don't want to have the bunchiness of the fabric um, under my corset. And um, the tank so, top is more fitting, <clears throat> I tightened so. up just a little bit. I'm going to do the same um, pull and tuck method. All right, and then I'm just going to tighten it. Now, so far this week, I've pretty much laced up as tight as 25 and a half. I do find it easier to um, tighten it before I go to bed at night because I kind of get sleep through any possible discomfort, which I haven't had any. Surprisingly, I haven't had any at all. And so um, yesterday, after I came back from a run, I laced it up only up to 26 just because I still had to eat lunch and I didn't want um, it to be too tight on my, on my stomach. Um, and so yeah, other than that, I think two days I, w I wore it at 25. Um, what I do, half. whenever I lace up, I always measure to make sure um, that I'm where I, I want to be. I definitely want to progress in the whole course of right training. Now, just tighten it a little bit. I'm just basically alternating between the top and the bottom. Um, but I haven't had any any more bruising. I haven't had any more um, discomfort at my hips or nothing like that. Um, I've been watching a lot of Lucy's videos trying to um, gain more knowledge. Um, I'm definitely not, by no means a pro with this, you guys. I am learning just like you guys are. I've been doing it for 11 weeks now. And um, sometimes it's trial and error. The biggest question I get is where'd you get your corset from? Or your how do you determine your size? You want to go four to six inches smaller than your natural waist. Natural waist being right here. So you measure this part. I know that um, they also do measurements up here and at your hips as well to make sure that you, you're getting the right corset. Uh, but generally speaking, it's mostly just your natural waist, um, depending on uh, your size as well. Um, but that's pretty much a general rule of thumb. Um, I started off at 31 and a half inches. I, um, my first corset was a 26 inch, weight, uh, inch corset. After about a month, maybe about five, hmm, four or five weeks, I went ahead and I, um, I went to size 22. Um, now I probably could have went ahead and got the 24, but I didn't want to pay all that money for, um, just a two inch reduction. So this is where I'm at so far, you guys. <coughs> Let me see where I'm, I'm at. I'm just playing with this, you guys. You do know that I'm just playing with this. I could so close this dang corset. And as of right now, it doesn't feel uncomfortable or nothing like that, so that's a good thing. I'm going to just do a quick, a quick measurement really fast to see where I'm at to make sure that I'm, I'm where, at least where I need to be. I'm almost at 26, so um, somebody wanted me to take a picture with a, a light background um, on my Instagram. Now, lacing, unlacing, lacing, unlacing, your strings will get uneven, and for a minute there, this one was like up to about here. And this one was super long, and so it's just a matter of, like shoelaces, it's just a matter of slacking up one side and releasing it to the other side. So I had to do that already once, and I feel like I have to do it again because they're not even, but they're not as bad as they, they were before. Um, let's see where we're at. See, the top part is pretty much damn near closed already. like magic huh and honestly I actually really like the corset more so than the the body sh sh uh, cinchers and stuff like that because I do feel like like the corset has a it does a better job at really cinching you in and it's gonna hold you in okay I'm gonna probably leave it at this because right now it's relatively tight and I still haven't even eaten breakfast and it's already afternoon it's terrible Okay, right now I'm at uh, just under 25 and a half, so 
I'm going to keep it there and see how I feel. I hope this video doesn't get entirely too long. I'm going to have to edit it. I could end up with just one clip this week anyways because um, I don't necessarily have anything new to talk about. I mean, I'm still sleeping in my corset. The other, actually, what I decided to do last week was to take one day a week and not sleep in it to kind of give my body a break, um, a chance to breathe. Because as you know, I'm wearing mine. It's like I feel like I live in it. Basically, I live in it. Like literally, I sleep in it. I get up in the morning. I take it off. I get dressed for the day. I um, I um, when I go to work, I work out at work. I go run. Um, at about 10, about 12, I get back at 11, I keep it off till 12, I put it back on at 12, and then it's on until I come home. If I need to work out again, I do that. I keep it off while I work out, while I shower, while I eat. So usually that's about another hour and a half to two hours, and then I put it back on. So I pretty much only keep it off no more than, generally speaking, no more than four hours out of the day. So 21 hours a day, you I'm wearing my corset. I find the cloth belts just easier for me, especially with the corset. If you're wearing it under your corset, it makes it more comfortable. And this just makes it easier for me to, to tighten it up. Okay, so this is where we're at. And I wear this blouse today so you can't really see that I have the corset on and you can't see all so this is what I'm doing today. This is what we're doing today. See, you can't even tell I have a corset on because I have this really baggy shirt on. <laughs> Anyways, um, as always, I hope that you guys are having a beautiful day. And I will see you all next week, if not another clip this week. Later, guys.